and bowed words. The big show's title reign was pish. It's smack down, here comes the pain. 19th of December 2002. Refew, welcome back to Fog Wrestling. Did you like that wee? It comes back to black. Because it should have faded to black with a big show win at Survivor Series, but it didn't. Because it faded to a big, baldy cut angle at Armageddon. What are the true motives behind it? We'll find out tonight. But a video package kicked off the show with Brock interfering at Armageddon, Kurt Angle walking out as the champ, and Paul Heyman looking as fat as usual. I'm sick of SmackDown with these video packages. All that was missing from the generic ones that they've been doing in the recent months is Steph McMahon. SmackDown. Armageddon. The Big Show. That's all it was missing, wasn't it? It was. I'm glad there was no Stephanie, though, so let's move on. Let's move on. But we did kick off with Kurt Angle. He says, I've won the tag, the IC, the King of the Ring, the NCAA, the Olympic, and the Undisputed Titles. Sorry, Kurt. See the NCAA? That means nothing to me. Aye, maybe before you got the WWE it was a big deal or whatnot, but... No, you, you can flex the Olympic gold medal all you want, because you know what? That's great. Aye, but it's part of his gimmick, though. He's made it part of his gimmick, so therefore it works. NCAA, not so much. I mean, National Austin... National Championships are flick. No, Austin didn't have an NCAA championship, and who cares? Did Hogan have one? Don't think so. The Rock? No. No, but... Uh, Kurt... Does the American Badass have one? No. Kurt says that he's now won every title he could ever win, because he's won the undisputed title, but he's like, there's one guy I need to thank. Brock Lesnar. Brock comes out to the ring, pat on the back. Let's hug it out, Brocky boy. Brock wants his match. He's getting him hyped up. Kurt, he's like, yeah, you're going to get your match. Just not tonight. Classic not tonight for the Kurt Angle. But Kurt, no, no, we're getting tonight. We're getting Kurt Angle against Ben Waugh in a non-title match. And I can't wait because we've never seen that before. Right. No, 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 no. This needs to be discussed because these two are faced each other at the Royal Rumble. Ben Wall won on Sunday a number one contendership match. We've seen this match a million times. They were tag partners for six months, four months, whatever. And how many times did they face each, each other during the build-up to them becoming tag team partners? And even once they were tag team partners, how often have they shared a ring together? It's the most done match in the history of this year. Aye, 100%. And not even that, it's like, before Ben Wall came back, it felt like that's all you got, seeing like 2001, 2000. Yeah. Especially 2000. Aye, 2000 was these it, two it heavy. It was like... Well, a wee bit of Jericho. A wee bit of Jericho sprinkled in there. A wee bit of the bubbly. I honestly think we've seen enough Angle versus Benoit to never see it again at this stage. Yeah. Now, some people will say the Royal Rumble's their best match ever. And, and here, it very well might be. But would it not have been better if we didn't see it? Like, ten fucking times in the past two weeks? Come on. Come on, it's ridiculous, but they shake hands after a wee bit of hesitation. Looks like next week is the world title match. So, here, if it happens, it should be a good match. Brock Lesnar will get his title match. But Big Show's backstage, he's seen this on the monitor, he's not happy. He starts punching the wall, and fair play to Big Show, these were real punches because his hand was pretty fucked up. Then he grabbed Heyman, and it almost looked like Heidenreich and Michael Cole, where he was about to bum him. Ah, uh, didn't it look good for Paul Heyman yeah. here? If he wanted a bit of Walrus, I'm sure the Big Show would have probably got it here, but he demands action, and Paul Heyman's like, it's okay, Paul. We've got a contingency plan. Yeah, Paul Heyman's got a plan. He's put something in motion. What will that something be? And will it please the seven foot tall, 500 pounds, angry giant? Up next, Eddie Guerrero versus Billy Kidman. Chavo grabs the mic before the match says, You only won last week, Billy, because you're, you're a cheater. <sighs> Guerrero's aren't doing anything for me. Chavo's doing less for me. Go back to mowing lawns, all right? Just... Fucking they really need to start this like actual like robbery gimmick and what, nah. they're, what they're actually doing things. Yeah, because like, at the moment crimes. they're doing the, the moment they're doing nothing. Chavo Guerrero's losing fair and square to bombs and he's making excuses for it. Yeah, it's not a good look. He hits the razor. I mean, even Chavo was losing the people in the SmackDown Six. I mean, you could, you would accept it, like, but now he's losing the fucking guys that shouldn't even be on the roster. It's like what the hell? Yeah, but he, he wins. Ooh, Chavo, Ooh, razor's edge wins with Eddie wins. It was always going to be Eddie winning Billy Kidman's a bit. Was it not the Gory Bomb he won with? A Razor's Edge Power Bomb it was described as. Yeah, fair enough. Gory Bomb's kind of reverse. Yeah, true. Well. Anyway, Matt Hardy enters the fray. Of course, he's uh, oh, yeah. got a bit of a black eye. He says, oh, don't worry about it. It's just a couple of Mattitude followers that jumped him at the hotel. But he's ready to compete against Brock Lesnar. It's a bit pish, isn't it? If a couple of Mattitude followers can do that kind of damage. If a couple of Mattitude followers can give you a black eye, then what's Brock Lesnar going to do to you? 
Exactly. Whoa, I know it, but poor that his own followers battered him. I know. Oh well, at least it's not gold, does he? Give you a brown eye. Anyway, oh. let's move on. Let's talk about B Squared and John Cena. They come to the ring. I actually enjoyed this rap. I think you can see this rap going places already at this point, like the gimmick. Aye, I'm sure it'll improve with time. I mean, some some of the things, some of the lines are good, some of the lines aren't so good. But every line, Cena, Cena's worst line so far has been better than Rikishi's best. And Aye, that's, if that's who he stole the gimmick off on the bus, then he, <laughs> that's the only time I'm going to approve a theft and ho- robbery. Hopefully the bus is still in the uh, the station because Chuck Palumbo needs to go. Cena shouldn't need to cheat to beat Chuck Palumbo. Chuck Palumbo, big Chuck, yeah, I mean, fucking hell, Chuck Palumbo. Why can't Cena get a, a legit win here over Palumbo? Not even after even after the match, man, Palumbo cleared the house. Cleared the ring. He did, and then Rikishi came down and helped him a wee bit, but it was more Palumbo. Up next, we've got a Tory Wilson interview. Palumbo pummeled Cena. Aye, and Rikishi shot on both of them, but uh, yeah, we've got Michael Cole interviewing Tory Wilson here, and it's just, <sighs> this feud, is it, is it ran its course at this point? They're, they're promising more footage tonight from Armageddon, which we'll get to in a bit. But it's like... <sighs> you know what I see here, but you, you know deep down, they ain't really going to show anything, are they? No, they're not. They're, 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 they wouldn't they're, show it at the pay-per-view, but they'll show it on SmackDown. But, but you know, yeah, if anything was going to be shown, it would have been at the pay-per-view when they could probably get away with showing the most riskiest stuff that they could. But this is all just... A, they're, they're dragging it along, man. They're, they're desperate to try and... And get us to stay interested here, promising is this, promising is that, but I, mean, I think we just know realistically there is nothing happening here. Nope, uh, Tori says she couldn't hike the one guy, couldn't break her heart, could, and he did, and it's Al Wilson. She says, I'm very sexual, but I'm not a predator, and I'm not a sexual predator, but Don Marie, you are. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking weird that we've got two young women here. Or maybe Tori's a bit younger than Don. Out of the three, there's one sexual predator. Yeah, it's like, I mean, see if, you, see if you lined these three up and went, one of these people is a sexual predator. I'm sorry, but everyone out the lineup would just pick out Al Wilson. It's Al. Uh, but he's the one in the story that's not the sexual predator. It's fucking weird. Well, maybe he still is. But he's been portrayed as the one that's innocent. He's like Joe Biden. He doesn't have fucking know where he is. He's just there. Aye, he, yeah, he's... And also, incognito. I don't, I don't really incognito. What I, I don't really agree. Why? Uh, I don't really agree with Tory Wilson saying that Al broke up. I mean, what's he done? Not that much, has he? I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't want to. Could not you not argue that she's br- he, breaking his heart because she's not accepting his new girlfriend or potential wife? wife? Uh. And yeah, Don Marie's out here, right? The wedding's in two weeks. Uh, Cole and it's Taz not don't like, want this. It's though. not like it's been. He's had to choose. And he's chosen Don Marie over Tory. That's not the case. Aye. No, no, I, I, know, I don't get it, to be honest. But. So I don't really know why she's so... Oh, um, I didn't think my father would break my heart like this. Look what McMahon's done. Fuck me. That's a guy that'll break hearts. Not give a fuck about his kids. So the wedding's in two weeks, and what about Al? What about Dan? And Taz and Co are shitting all over this. And, you know, we can... So this is partly dedicated to McMahon for approving this angle, according to Online World of Wrestling, some of the chants, but... Mc- McMahon's given the go-ahead for Taz and Cole to bury it, isn't he? Aye. Cole is not burying this on his free will. King and JR would, right? I'm under no... They would bury it. But Cole doesn't have the fucking balls. No. Nah. Hey, can I say that, sir? Well, I've already said it ten times. I've said it eleven times. What about Al? What about Mountain Dew? <laughs> you want me to say Finta, Jordan? <laughs> do, you think, do you think this... Uh, do you Finta, Jal. Do you think this will be the best wedding of the year? I'd say so. Wait, what happened this year? At least it's not fucking gay. Well, it happened this year. Two weeks, 19th, no? Oh, God's sake. So oh. Billy and Chuck's getting wed in the year for 2002? Aye. It's a bit gay. Wait, did Triple H and Stephanie not renew their vows? Or attempt to? No, well, they might not. Actually. I'll give that one the nod. Aye, why not? It was a little bit less gay. Matt Hardy comes out, he says he's lost all his vision, so he throws Sharon Moore into Brock Lesnar, who absolutely annihilates him. Big tell you what, Brock, Le- Brock Lesnar could have lost all his vision and he still would have won this match. <laughs> he would have, but he... he uh, what, a, what a belly to belly, by the way, to the outside, overhead belly Aye. to belly, man. I mean, Sharon Moore almost landed, landed through the Titans run. I mean, that's how fucking far up the ramp he went. It was <laughs> insane. And this was a good, this was a good belly to belly. Kurt Angle, though, he goes into Steph McMahon's office and you're wondering, what is Kurt Angle's angle, pun intended, with this I goal? think Kurt Angle has sucked, see, for the past month. I've not digged it. Yeah. He's like, oh, I look forward to my match with Brock, but... Uh, not tonight. Just not tonight. And then she's like, cut the crap, what's happening here? And he's like, no, it's all right, I'll take care of it myself. It's just, I don't know. And then what happens next, right, is... Uh, 
I thought this segment I didn't was, approve of this no this segment was actually quite awful to be honest I, I did not like it he talks about the three eyes he says if it was up to me I'd face Brock Lesnar and Ben Waugh on the, on the same night but then he talks about oh there's really one guy for what happened on Sunday I've got new management team Paul Heyman comes out yeah Paul comes out him and Angle are together Paul's happy because he is screwed Brock and he says that Brock will never get a shot at the title as long as he's still alive as long as he's still breathing Paul Heyman's lifelong goal is to screw Brock Lesnar and I don't quite get it I mean did Brock Lesnar embarrass him disrespect him a little bit maybe during his title reign towards the end perhaps but I just don't understand why Paul Heyman is so fucking hell bent on screwing Brock Lesnar here doesn't really make a lot of sense to me you can say Heyman's getting a lot of heat right because he is obviously for this but I'm just not digging it it's like what Paul Heyman comes in he's Angle's agent he can just cancel matches on the fly oh you didn't read the small print but where's the proof all these documents were signed I actually like it when there's official signings Aye, they're just saying it happened yeah like, like where, where's, the, where's the tangible proof <sighs> Then Big Show comes out, and like the dumb bastard that he is, he just fucking eats it up like he would anything. Yeah, I mean, you do you remember, I know it doesn't really happen anymore, but do you remember a couple of years ago in wrestling, there was a gimmick where it was like contract signings every fucking week? Yep. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Like, I wonder why they didn't have a contract signing between Big Show and Brock Lesnar, and then you could have maybe looked at it, oh, look, that's when Heyman, for, that's when he, Heyman slipped up the documents or something, or changed the documents, and, you know, Brock Lesnar signed away his rematch. I, I would have liked to have at least seen it on TV. By the way, on, off topic, but what were all those uh, contract signings about? They were awful. I don't know. It's just McMahon going through a wee fetish gimmick or something. But basically, here, yeah, Paul Heyman's like, all right, Kurt Angle's going to face Big Show next week. Kurt kind of protests this. But then he's like, it doesn't matter who's the champion as long as Brock isn't. And what? Big Show buys this. Big Show comes out. He's angry. I'm a big angry giant. But then Paul Heyman explains, no, I don't worry, Big Show. Look, me and you, me, you, me, you and Angle, the three of us together, the two of you guys together, we can't be beat. And if that's the case, then Brock Lesnar will never be champion. Yep. And then po- 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 Big Show goes from being upset to... <laughs> He's went from being angry giant to happy giant because Paul Heyman spans some bullshit about how... These two together can't lose, and as long as one of them holds the title, they all hold the title. I mean, Angle didn't seem too chuffed about this. He didn't seem too pleased. He wasn't really buying it. I guess he's got three eyes. Big Show's got fucking no eyes. Well, he's got two eyes. He's got the eyes in his forehead, but that's about it. Yeah, it's just, it's fucking stupid is what it is. Right, up next, Jamie Noble, Nunzio, taking on Crash Holly and Bill Demont. Um, This does nothing for me. Bill, big Bill DeMott though, what a guy, yeah, helps uh, Crash Holly defeat Noble and Nunzio then after the match just decides to absolutely bash Crash Holly. And then he'll be gone in like a week. Yeah, I don't know why, they're, 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 they're booking Bill DeMott like a fucking monster. Yeah. And the reality is, we know that the guy's, <laughs> he'd be lucky if he makes it to 2023. Yeah, I mean, Edge right up next, cuts a promo, generic, then has a match against Atrian, wins. This feud needs to stop right now. Needs to stop right now. Yeah, before it gets going. Yeah, before the train builds up fucking enough speed. Yeah, the train's still leaving the platform. Nine and three quarters. I wish I couldn't see it. Anyway, Edge wins. No, and... Edge should be in the main event picture. And he's not. Like, if the big show's in it, then why can't Edge be in it? Is it just me or does A-Train feel like he's losing momentum already? Either? Nah, the, t- the train's going uphill and the accelerator's no on. I mean, it's... If we're on our way train, main event next, right? <sighs> Just don't care. I really don't fucking care for this. It's Kurt Angle with Paul Heyman versus Chris Benoit. You know, now while the wrestling says after a long and brilliant match, Big Show runs out and it's like, he's like, so Benoit hits the, the headbutt, he's locked in the crossface. I mean, do we really fucking need this? Do we really need a long match when we know that it's going to happen at the Royal Rumble? And let's, let's keep this real. It's not like WWE at this point in time don't know what the Royal Rumble main event is. Of course they They not. will know it's Angle Benoit. Yep. So why do they think it's a good idea to have a fucking no- another... Con- considering how long these guys have faced each other and the amount of times they've faced each other over the past three, four months, why is this not a match where like three or four minutes into it, Big Show's running it? Yeah. Why are they having an actual long match and then Big Show coming out at the end? What they could have done is, could Big Show... And Angle Nova attacked Ben Wall backstage, and then the Edge A train match doesn't exist, and Edge gets put in against Angle in the main event. 
something a bit different. I know, but we've already we've seen already that. We've seen Edge and Angle yeah, the times. SmackDown, it, I mean, I know we're on Raw, right? We've seen Booker what about, T, Jericho a lot, but com- SmackDown's awful for repeating the same thing. What about combine them and have A-Train and Angle versus Edge and Benoit? Could do that, but yeah, you know what? But uh, Brock comes out. There's a wee disqualification here. Big show. Da, 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 da. Got brawls, but it ends with Big Show, Kurt Angle, and Heyman on top. And is A Train part of Heyman's team, or is he just a, a lackey that was used for a couple of weeks? I think he's just in it, a lackey. He's not an agent. What, 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 if, what if Heyman came and went, I don't care if uh, A Train's a champ either, guys? <laughs> I think I think Kurt Angle and Big Show would have pulled bullshit on that one, huh? Yeah. I'm pulling rank, buddy. <laughs> you ain't letting that hairy back bastard but hold the belt. This was a garbage. Hit. This is probably one of the worst Smackdowns. I wasn't great. Everything they did with the main event was awful. Like the scene. Yeah, no, it sucked. And there was nothing... The best thing about it was probably the Tory Wilson, Don Marie stuff. Nice which is wee, going stale. A nice wee John Cena rap. Oh, why John Cena's rap. Again, like, <laughs> even, <laughs> Chuck, even Chuck Palumbo, though. Like, you know, fucking... I mean, the Matt Hardy segments I kind of like. Hi, but... Shannon Moore versus Brock, I guess, was no bad. But, uh, yeah, overall, guys, it really wasn't great. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 4. I can't justify any more. Like what, what we've just explained there is about four decent points. The main offence here on SmackDown is awful. Now, in the Velocity tapings, Bill DeMott picked up another win, defeating Michael Shane. So, Bill DeMott picking up back-to-back wins here. Quite. So in the space of, what, and Cena an beat, hour? And Cena beat Palumbo on Velocity as well. And uh, Rikishi beat Andy Anderson. Andy, double A, Andy Anderson. Anyway, 4 out of 10, guys. We're back with top five moments. I've got a feeling next week's Smackdown will probably be the best of the year because it's the best of edition. We'll not be watching them, will we? Yeah, we will. Every Smackdown gets reviewed. Well, we have to because even Taz and Michael Cole, they could say something crucial. Could I? Could, 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 could. We'll probably get fucking... See if they show Benoit Angle on it twice. <laughs> oh, this is two of our best matches. Fuck off. Well, if it's not them, it's going to be Kurt Angle fucking Ang- Ben. What? It's going to be Kurt Angle Edge, or it probably will be. It's going to be, or, or or like six matches for the SmackDown Six. Anyway, or a Big Show promo. I'm five hundred pounds, seven foot. I mean, fuck right off. Bye bye. I'd rather see a, a two-hour fucking Billy and Chuck porno. Maybe not. Well, let's but. not get used to.